Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation x squared minus 9x plus 19 is equal to 0 and our job is to find the value of this expression 1 over x minus 5 whole to the power 18 plus 1 over x minus 4 whole to the power 18. So let's start. Let's suppose that this expression is equal to e. Now from this equation we add 1 to both sides. So this will become x squared minus 9 times x plus 19. We add 1 to the left hand side is equal to 0 and we add 1 to the right hand side. Next x squared minus 9 times x plus 19 plus 1 will become 20 is equal to 0 plus 1, 1. Now, this expression at the left hand side is factorable. We write this x squared and we split this negative 9x as negative 4 times x minus 5 times x plus 20 is equal to 1. From these two terms, we can factor out x in bracket left x minus 4 and from these two terms uh, we can factor out negative 5 in bracket left uh, x minus 4 is equal to 1. Now this x minus 4 is a common factor so we factor out this uh, x minus 4 and uh, in bracket left uh, x minus 4 5 is equal to 1. Now, if we divide both sides of this equation by x minus 5, this implies that uh, 1 divided by x minus 5 is equal to x minus 4. And if we divide both sides of this equation by x minus 4, then this implies that uh, 1 over x minus 4 is equal to x minus 5 and uh, we have to find the value of uh, the expression we have to find the value of this expression 1 over x minus 5 whole to the power 18 plus uh, 1 over x minus 4 whole to the power 18 in this expression we replace this 1 over x minus 5 with this value x minus 4 and we replace this 1 over x minus 4 with this value x minus 5. So this will become x minus 4 whole to the power 18 plus x minus 5 whole to the power 18. Now we suppose that x minus 4 is equal to a and uh, x minus 5 is equal to b. It means uh, now we have to find the value of uh, we have to find the value of this expression a to the power 18 plus uh, b to the power 18. Now in this equation if we replace this uh, x minus 4 with this value a and this x minus 5 with this value b then we get another equation a times b is equal to 1. And if we subtract uh, this equation from this equation then we get uh, a minus b is equal to x minus 4 minus x minus 5 and uh, a minus b is equal to x minus 4 due to this negative sign this uh, x will become negative x and this negative 5 will become plus uh, 5 and this negative x will be considered with this x and uh, this equation will become a minus b is equal to negative 4 plus 1 1. Now we take a cube of both sides of this equation 
this will become a minus b is equal to 1 and we take cube on both sides. This a minus b whole cubed is equal to a cubed minus b cubed minus 3ab times a minus b is equal to 1 cube is 1. Now, in this equation, we replace this a b with this value 1 and this a minus b with this value 1. So, this will become a cubed minus b cubed minus 3 times a b is 1 times a minus b is 1 is equal to 1 and a cubed minus b cubed minus 3 times 1 times 1 is 3 is equal to 1. We copy this equation a b is equal to 1 here a times b is equal to 1. Now, we add 3 to both sides of this equation. So, this will become a cubed minus b cubed. This get cancelled and this will be equal to 1 plus 3, 4. Now, we take a cube of both sides of this equation. This will become a cubed minus b cubed is equal to 4 and we take cube on both sides. This a cubed minus b cubed whole cube will become a to the power 9 minus b to the power 9 minus c a cubed times b cubed times a cubed minus b cubed is equal to this 4 cubed is equal to 64. Next a to the power 9 minus b to the power 9 minus this 3a cubed b cubed is same as 3 times a b whole cubed times a cubed minus b cubed is equal to 64. Now, we replace this a b with this 1 and we replace this a cubed minus b cubed with this 4. So, this equation will become a to the power 9 minus b to the power 9 minus 3 times 1 cubed times 4 is equal to 64. We copy this equation a b is equal to 1. Next, a to the power 9 minus b to the power 9 minus 3 times 1 times 4 will become 12 is equal to 64. And we add 12 to both sides. So, this get cancelled and we are left with a to the power 9 minus b to the power 9 is equal to 64 plus 12 is 76. Now, from here we take square of both sides. This a to the power 9 minus the b to the power 9 whole squared will become a to the power 9 whole squared plus b to the power 9 whole squared minus 2 times a to the power 9 times b to the power 9 is equal to 76 squared is 5776. Now, this will become a to the power 18 plus this will become b to the power 18 minus 2 times this a to the power 9 times b to the power 9 is same as a times b whole to the power 9 is equal to 5776. We replace this a b with this value 1. So, this will become a to the power 18 plus b to the power 18 minus 2 
times 1 to the power 9 is equal to 5776. Next, a to the power 18 plus b to the power 18 minus 2 times 1 will become 2 is equal to 5776. We add 2 to both sides. So, this get cancelled and we are left with a to the power 18 plus b to the power 18 is equal to 5776 plus 25778. This is the required value of a to the power 18 plus b to the power 18. So, This expression is equal to 5778.